To be honest, I'm pretty sure that I can create subtitles and make them animated in under a minute. I have just realized something important. A lot of people are watching videos, shorts especially, without any audio. Myself included. It's sad, I know. That makes captions on your video really important. So I've gone from no captions to adding captions, and now I've gone a step further and adding animated captions to my shorts, like the ones you're probably seeing right now uh, if I edited this video correctly. Now this thing helps engage the viewer a lot better, especially if they're watching without audio. Now the ones that you're seeing on my videos are made with a plugin inside DaVinci Resolve that uses the subtitles that you already have in your timeline to create these animations. And if you've seen my earlier video on how to create automatic subtitles on your videos in DaVinci Resolve. Subtitles used to be a real pain to deal with. Now, however, I can create and add subtitles myself in just a few clicks. I think you can imagine how simple and fast this process can be. To be honest, I'm pretty sure that I can create subtitles and make them animated in under a minute. And I'm doing this in DaVinci Resolve with a plugin called Caption Cat. All right, so the bad news first. This is not a free plugin. But hold on, before you leave, there are some good news. The creator of this plugin has actually given me three licenses to share with my audience. So stick around, uh, let me show you how this plugin works, and then at the end I'll show you how you can win one of these three licenses for Caption Cat. All right, so we are in DaVinci Resolve, we are on the edit page, and I've obviously already got the plugin installed already. Uh, this is a project, one of my shorts that uh, already has this effect on it. You can see the subtitles right here, you can see the Caption Cat effect right here, and you can obviously see what's going on on the screen. Uh, I chose a pretty discreet animation for mine, uh, but I'm going to show you in a minute. There's a lot to choose from, depending on your uh, style. If we zoom in here a little bit, you can see that my subtitles is chopped up quite uh, liberally. It has a lot of very, very, very short parts to it. Pretty much a word per subtitle. And that is on purpose. This is to help the plugin zero in on specific words and make the animation as accurate as possible to what you're saying. But let's just delete all of this so I can show you exactly what the process looks like. First thing you want to do is create subtitles for this timeline. So go up to timeline and let's go down to create subtitles from audio. The only thing that you need to change right here is that thing that I just talked about is making sure that the subtitle will consist of as many short parts as possible. To do this, we're going to change this character's per line to 1 instead of 18. That's the only thing you need to do. Then you hit Create. DaVinci Resolve is going to create our subtitles automatically for us. There you go. 10 seconds later, we do have, as you can see, subtitles on our video. And it's pretty much just one or two words at a time. And the next step is to choose the type of animation that we want on our captions. I'm going to open up the effects window. I'm going to go down to titles. I'm going to open up that. And when you have Caption Cat installed, you're going to see a Caption Cat folder in your titles. I'm just going to click on that. And here you can see all the different types of animations. There's, there are quite a few to choose from. Uh, let's grab a pretty simple one to start with. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that one's advanced. I just kind of want something discreet. Simplicity. I should have just read the, the titles. All right, so this one right here is the one that I used before on my video. So I'm just gonna drag one, so I'm just gonna drag this onto a new video track. Now, if you want this animation style to be consistent throughout your entire video, you just extend it to make sure it covers the entire video where there are subtitles. You can also mix it up and use different animations for different parts if you like. Let's use this typewriter. Let's say we want the typewriter right in here. 
uh, make that a little bit longer. And then we want it to go back to this other version again. As you can see right now, it looks a little bit um, strange. Don't worry, we're going to adjust that right now. Let's open up Caption Cat. I'm just going to go up to Workspace, Scripts, Mammal World, and Caption Cat for Resolve. That will open up this little window. Now, just a side note, as you can see right here, there's an option to transcribe audio. That is, if you don't want to use DaVinci to create your subtitles, but you want to use Caption Cat to do that for you. That is an option. Apparently this is very useful if you're transcribing videos in a different language. DaVinci Resolve itself doesn't support that many languages right now. Um, I think it's somewhere between like 10 and 20 languages, while uh, Caption Cat is actually using ChatGPT to translate, which gives it like 100 plus languages uh, to transcribe. But we already have our subtitles or captions, so we don't have to use this uh, right now at all. Uh, we just want to make sure that we're using the right track. So um, we want to apply subtitles from subtitle track number one, as we can see down here. And we want to apply it to video track number three. So we just want to change this from one to three. And let's apply our subtitles. Done. That, <laughs> that took like five seconds. And I'm just going to close this. As we can see up here, the text has been applied to the Caption Cat effect. We can see that the animation is matching the subtitles really well. I'm just going to pause this and I'm going to turn off our subtitle layer so we only see this animation. It looks pretty great. Now, if you want to adjust this, as uh, I would like to because I think it's a little bit too uh, centered in the image for my taste. And I'm going to select this, I'm going to go in to the inspector up here, and here we have a lot of settings for this animation. Before adjusting anything, one thing that might be nice to do is to go down to social media safe zones. I'm going to upload this to uh, YouTube, and as you can see, it sort of gives me this safe area for my text. And as I see this right now, I realize that this text is actually placed really well for YouTube Shorts. Let's say I want to use uh, TikTok instead, but it's even smaller. Instagram Reels? Okay, that's why, that's why. There is a little bit of room down here too, but I guess this is sort of half grayed out depending on... Um, like the chat slash comment section. But let's say I want to chance it, I'm just going to uh, put my text down here. Uh, I also want to increase the uh, size a little bit. I want to change the highlight color to uh, a stronger red. Let's just turn this safe zone off. There we go. Um, and as you can see, you have a lot more settings to play around with. I'm going to change the font as well. I just want to use something uh, like Helvetica. There we go. And if we jump over to this part, you can see, oh, this text seems to be a little bit out of frame. Uh, let's make this text smaller. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You can see that the text changes from one effect to the other. Now, if you notice that there's something wrong in your uh, uh, in your subtitles that need to be changed, you need to change the text in the subtitle layer. Um, let's say Moody is spelled with three O's for some reason. Then you have to reopen Caption Cat and hit apply once more, make sure all the settings are correct. Apply subtitles again. And you can see that it instantly imported my change to the uh, animation. Same thing if you want to add another style of animation somewhere else. Just throw that into your timeline. Open up Caption Cat again. Same thing. 
Make sure the settings are correct. Apply subtitles. There we go. That's really all there is to it. It has saved me so much time and it made my uh, videos look a lot more professional, I think. It is a bit sad that a lot of us are watching shorts without audio. But hey, I guess that's uh, the way it is right now. And um, and all we can do is adapt, I guess. Really simple, uh, really fast, as you saw. Uh, it makes my uh, life easier and more fun, to be honest. I'd rather spend my time filming new videos than animating texts. All right, that's uh, that's it. Now you're probably wondering how you can win one of these three licenses that Matthias at Caption Cat so generously shared with me. Well, I'm going to make it really easy. Just uh, leave a comment on this video, anything you want, preferably something nice. And I will pick uh, three random winners among the comments in, uh, let's see, I'm away for a couple of weeks. Let's say April 20th. I will post a new video announcing the winners. Uh, so leave a comment, keep an eye out for that video, and I guess that is it. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.